Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. For this video tutorial, we're going to see how we can easily create fast skies for Cycles Render. They're pretty easy to set up and they can give really interesting results for your scenes. Now have this scene ready, this will be the daily for today. And I'm moving over to the world options. And you can see that I'm using a color here for the background for the sky. Now for this one I've used a, mag a magic texture. Let's see how it works. Let's first of all uh, set it to RGB. Let's uh, erase the magic texture and now let's set it again. Let's select magic texture. Okay, you can see the magic texture here in place and we have lots of options for the magic texture. What I'm going to do for this one is bring the scale down. Let's bring it down. And I'm bringing this down in order to have some few colors for the sky. I don't want it to have all those crazy stuff going on. Okay, let's set it to 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. Let's set it at about here. Now in order to change the colors in the magic texture, all you have to do is change the depth value here. You can set it to 2, 3, 4, and you can see the results applied. 5, 6, and all that. I'm going to render a couple of images to see. I'm setting the depth to 3, and you can also change the distortion. Perhaps we'll see this one later. Let's render to take a look. And you can see how this one looks. Okay, pretty interesting. And all we're having here is, I've used the sponge, the new object for Blender 2.75, and I've created a nice little scene. Okay, looking good, I'm going to try another sky to see how you can get a lot, a lot different result for your scene. Let's set it to zero. Okay, let's render again. As you can see, we're getting pretty interesting results. The sponge objects here have a simple glossy shader that reflects the sky, and we're getting this nice result here. Okay, another thing you can do for the sky here is change the magic texture into a noise texture. Let's see how this one looks. Let's increase the scale to see how the noise texture looks. Okay, it looks something like that. But as I did before, I'm going to bring the scale down because I don't want to have all those crazy colors on my sky. I'm going to bring this one, let's set it down to 0 0.6. And again, you can increase the detail for the noise texture or bring it down to have some soft colors here applied to the, to the sky and the background and the scene. You can change the strength and distortion. Let's render an image to see how this one looks. Okay, pretty interesting, and you can see that we're using that the scene here is lit by the colors used in the noise texture. And as you can see, these are pretty fast to set up, pretty easy to set up. You don't have to use images or sky domes all the time, you can just throw in noise texture or magic texture and work with it. So this was a quick one, this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.